On to the last question of this mailbags episode. Manga Dreamers writes, Hey How to Bam, it's been my dream to become a mangaka for as long as I can remember and I want to know how I can get started creating my characters for my own manga series. Did you ever have to study from real life before drawing manga? I have been studying anatomy and such but my work is not at a professional level. How can I improve on this? Should I keep drawing from life? How exactly did you go about creating I Put a Boy? Like how did you practice before making your series? Sorry for asking a lot of questions. Thanks for the tips and I can't wait for more videos. That's a good question, uh, Manga Dreamers. You have to look at the source material for your characters first and that's the story. Most of how the character looks reflects from the characterization of the character. What kind of character is he or she? What are the backstories? Do you have tragic backstories or do they resemble a brainless character? If they have that fighting spirit in them, then you can see that in their eyes. If they are self-centered, then you can do something with their lips hanging. This comes down to facial expressions, but also gestures. A character that's weary in life has more hanging shoulders and his back is not uplifted. So you indeed study from real life. It's almost like a study of the human psychology. What helped me building characters was that I wrote the characters down first in the story. Because um, that's the most important part. The story is key. And then express those characterizations of, of my character. It's a bit like uh, movie editions. They, the, the script is already finished. It's written out. And now the director and the team are looking for the, uh, for the right actor that can portray the role. You sometimes see that they select very different actors for, the, for that audition. They have the same basic elements in common like blonde hair, uh, height, male, female. They can choose the actor that lies closest to the character and the characterizations that he or she must portray. Now what helped me for inspiration was searching for photos of faces that would reflect the characterizations in my story. And I would use them as a reference. If you like this video then super smash that like button. And don't forget to subscribe to our How to Bam YouTube channel. It's a great way for staying updated for the latest shows and videos. If you also have a question about making manga that you want to be answered on our show, then send in your email to info at howtoban.com. Also, don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Twitter for some great giveaways and prizes.